Okay. Tape to the floor. Yes, it is. Thank you. Hello, Abraham. Life is good. <laughs> it is. So, talked about manifestations and even great manifestations and the desire to build great things. What's with all of you in this manifestation stuff? <laughs> you act like physical beings. It's all, it's all mumbo jumbo. We live in jumbo. physical houses and drive physical cars. <laughs> Well, this, this question is a little bit shallow compared to the other wonderful questions that were asked. <laughs> we, we've never heard one and we certainly do not expect one from you. Okay. And I've always been very intrigued about what was the intent behind, behind the great manifestation of the building of the pyramids in Egypt, specifically the ones in Giza. Why would, would they build them and what was their purpose and when? Well, the purpose of them was uh, the, for the... Uh, maintaining of uh, physical bodies in other words they were built not just as a shrine but as a, a tomb to protect those carcasses from the elements because the misguided pharaohs who who decided to construct the pyramids believed that they were going to return to those bodies and they wanted them to be in good shape when they got back Hmm. Okay. Now, the reason why I asked the question is because um, there's been some speculation that possibly they were machines for harnessing the energy of the earth and projecting energy beams. So it's kind of like the interest that I had into it. Well, not so much machines as the, in the same way that we've been talking all day here today, and scientists will be interested in this if they can leave the realm of of fact and reality and come a little bit into the uh, realm of fantasy and imagination they will find some clues for harnessing energy and we've been talking about it all day here today that one who's connected to the stream is more powerful than millions who are not you are, are harnessing your scientists today while they are utilizing the power that they are terming electricity they have not begun to understand it they've not begun to understand it when you harness sound energy in the way that you are harnessing light energy because of the denser frequency of the sound vibration you will get more movable energy from it so it was it was about that so they thought maybe by concentrating the electrical energy that they would actually propel their body somewhere? Is that, was that the well, idea? They well, were, they were lightning loads. They, were, they understood leverage. In other words, a lot of it was through uh, the sheer will and power of just moving one thing to another place. But the leverage of it was something that they received uh, cl clarity about from inside the vortex and it's all kinds of things that they were utilizing in that day in terms of leverage even in terms of uh, water buoyancy all kinds of things that are not even being considered when that subject is approached today so having said that when were they built and by whom by the uh, civilization that was present at the time that those people who were put in the tomb was put in the tomb <laughs> in other words it was that constituency it was that you see that it's an interesting thing because humans while we talk about you being on the leading edge we also want you to remember that you have been creating in this environment for a very long time and while you are at your furthest extension of creativity scientifically you haven't even come close to catching up with some of the things that some were doing before in other words the true motion forward is in the spiritual intertwining you have been more technologically advanced than you are today not spiritually not harmonically but technologically technologically okay yeah. that confirms that now yeah. can i move on to a deeper question Okay, and thank you so much. That completely satisfies my, my question. Uh, the next one is a little bit deeper. It's about uh, the... Well, now we get the point that you were making about the shallow question. Because while it, those tombs aren't shallow, they made sure. But, <laughs> but, but in the sense that it's not really much for you to do much about. 
in other words you have come forth in this time to explore what's around you in order to launch your rockets in order to come into vibrational alignment with them Got it. so the part about what you were asking before that we think is intriguing and really worth complimenting you on probing in that question about okay. is that there are all kinds of things that those people of that time put into the vortex that humans have not allowed themselves to discover yet in other words asking that was put there you put things into the vortex that future generations will benefit from and that's why when you finally are able to let go of the the bindings of your practical what is itis where you're only willing to acknowledge what is and instead you become more an emotional being more of a light being more of a floating being more of a what scientists would call maybe an irrational being when you become more of a more of a, an optimistic being when you become more of an aligned being when you tune in to the frequency of what's in that collective vortex that's where scientists gain their greatest insights you see and if they didn't feel such a compulsion to as soon as they get the insight if they didn't feel such a necessity to build bridges to bring everybody else along if they could just discover on their own leaving big gaps in technology maybe but study and know and prove to themselves then others who then witness what they accomplish would then come across the bridge that is then laid you see what we're getting yes. at yes it's the need to bring everybody with you every step of the way that slows everything down and don't you know that when you try to convince your mother that you want to do something or when you <laughs> try to convince anybody isn't it easier to just make up your mind line up with it let universal forces work it into being and then when it happens your mother says well of course I always knew you could do that <laughs> <laughs>